Hello everybody, Adam here and welcome back. If you're following this tip series, no doubt you're really enjoying it so far. And if you, you are enjoying it, make sure to note in the comments what you're finding are the best bits. We're now going to move on to number four. On the last tip, we spoke about rejection, fear of failure, and I told you the remedy to that. So if you've not watched that tip, make sure you go back and watch it. But in this, we're going to talk about a way that you can cut that rejection down. You can start to cut that down to make sure you get more of the word you want, which is more yeses. Okay. So the first thing I want you to get used to doing, which not enough people do when it comes to sales, is when they get a rejection, they tend to move on. They tend to chase them up. Or they tend to say, well, you know, are you ready now? And they go back and they, they accept the excuses. The majority of the time, somebody has said no to doing business with you or not wanting to do business with you because of something was wrong with the presentation, something was wrong with the pitch, something didn't connect, i.e. you didn't connect and build the relationship with, with the client, whatever it might be. And what you need to do in this circumstance in order to sharpen your game is use these rejections as an opportunity to learn. So how do you do that? The first thing I want you to do is every single time somebody says no, or says they're not interested, I want you to bring them up, or I want you to actually have an engagement with that person when you say, look, for my feedback, I'd really like to know what was the reason that you decided that you didn't want to do business with us. At this point, I'm, uh, you know, I accept what you've said, no problem at all, but I just want to know for the future so I can make sure that I help people in a, in, in a better way. And if you position it like that, the real reason will come out. Now, often, the real reason is something you can overcome. The problem with when somebody gives you a smoke screen and they say they don't want to do business with you, oh, I'm not ready yet, or now's not the time, or I spoke to my partner and they weren't interested, and you feel like you didn't speak to the decision maker maybe, these are often excuses. And when it comes to excuses, they're very, very difficult to overcome an excuse. But if you can get to the center of the real reason and the root of the problem, sometimes you can obviously overturn that and turn that no into a yes, which we'll speak a bit more about in, in the tips later on. But the real reason is you can sharpen up your game if you get the real reasons that people have said no to you. You can start to remedy what you do, you can improve it, you can improve your proposition. And when you improve your proposition, you're on the way to getting more yeses. So do yourself a, you know, a favor and start to ask people, why is it you decided to not go ahead with a product or service? I accept what you said, so they don't think you're re-pitching them, but you just want to know. So I can improve in the future for other people, completely genuine, real reason. You'll get it, you'll improve your game, you'll start to get better. Now in the next tip, we're going to explore selling skills again a little bit more deeper and of course if you're liking the videos please make sure to subscribe hit the subscribe button so you can see more of these tips um, on the sales side but of course marketing financials we help business owners throughout the country on all different areas of their businesses and we want to help you too so please subscribe and i look forward to seeing you on the next video